guys, Lemmy here. Welcome back to another art video. Today is a very special day because a bunch of YouTubers are uploading their YouTube artist collective pieces. Theme number four is Wicked Wonderland, which was voted on by you guys. So yeah, um, about this piece, let's see. For Wicked Wonderland, my first initial thought of what I was going to draw for the collective was a bunch of serial killers, like uh, the guy with the mask, Jason, and then the Freddy Krueger guy, and then the Chucky doll. I was going to have all these killers, and they were going to be skipping together through the yellow brick road, and they were going to be holding, like, a brain, a heart, and, like, other things, and they were going to be skipping off to the castle to go kill the Wizard of Oz. And for the longest time, that was all I could think about drawing for this collective piece. And the collective doesn't take fan art. Um, so technically, that wouldn't have been copyright infringement because it would have been a parody. So when you combine two different copyrighted elements together, it's technically, if it's funny, it's a parody. So you can get away with doing something like that. But I didn't want to chance it at the collective because um, I didn't really know how, um, I guess, strict the rules were. So I was like, okay, I better think of something else to do. And it took me so long to actually think of anything. And what I came up with was loosely kind of just a girl in a mushroom forest in the dark like it's a dark forest and she's like climbing through it almost so it wasn't really as much of a wicked wonderland as just like kind of a dark setting and like a creepy little girl and I mean I really struggled with with the theme itself but I really love the picture that I have made and it's definitely my favorite out of all of the YouTube collective pieces I've made so far. So um, this one is more expensive than the previous ones that I put in my shop to sell and it also took me a lot longer to create because I sketched it out and then I transferred it using a Prismacolor hot pink pencil and then I painted an underpainting with Winsor & Newton watercolors and then I went over it with my Holbein gouache on top so it has like many layers and it was very time consuming to actually make and I did make this on stream on my Twitch channel I stream Let's see, Mondays and Thursdays starting at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm going to be making that a weekly thing. And I will be doing other impromptu streams at other times just in case people can't make it at that certain time frame, you know. Um, if people want to see me stream at other times, like I'll be doing random streams at random times depending when I have free time. So I made this during three streams. I streamed Monday, Wednesday a little bit, and Thursday. I was so concerned about getting this done for today, and I mean, I'm actually editing it today, so I'm really cutting it close. I guess the problem was I just didn't know what to do. Combined with I had a lot of other work to do, and I was getting ready with that Windsor and Newton party and everything so I've really kind of put it off to the last second and yeah hopefully I can get this all up um kind of like before noon I think so yeah it's been pretty hectic and I really love how this piece came out because the lighting was really fun to work with the lighting from the picture is coming from the mushrooms um the green mushrooms so I, it came, it kind of casted a lot of like interesting shadows and things like that and I had a lot of overlapping elements in the foreground and the background. So it was kind of fun to um, put the shadows in different areas and try to make things pop out more and things kind of more in, in the back, like set into the background. 
But another thing that I really liked about this picture was that I added like a bunch of eyes at the end with um, my Sakura jelly roll. And I think that kind of helped give it like a little bit of a wicked wonderland sort of theme because it's like eyes were watching in the forest and stuff like that. And yeah, so this one was a challenge, but I absolutely love how it came out. If it never sells, I will be happy because I love it. And yeah, I hope that you guys like it, and I can't wait to check out the other members of the collective and see what they made for this theme. Like I said, it's like one big kind of collaboration between a bunch of larger YouTube artists, and it's always fun to see what people do with the same theme because people's pictures never look the same and their ideas and inspirations are completely different. So I will have um, a link to the collective in the comments section below. If you guys want to follow that on Facebook, you guys can vote on our next theme once we get the options ready. And then also I'll have links to everyone else's channel. If you want to go to their channel, check out their art, check out their collective pieces. Um, that would be great. And yeah, so I hope you guys liked my picture and I'll see you guys next time for another art video. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing for next week, but I guess we'll figure it out then. Maybe, maybe I'll upload that really old Teen Titans picture I finally finished. <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye!